I've just had an amazing experience with them. We've been through both up and down. playing soccer and we're all really, really good friends. Playing on the Rockets was a really great experience. Welcome to Lacamas Magazine's feature on the Rockets recreational soccer team from Camus, who just recently ended an incredible 12-year athletic experience that saw numerous challenges and amazing successes. Led by Coach Wayne Swiller, a core team of about 10 boys stayed together and in 2011 became the Washington State champions for their age division. We're going to try to compile 12 years of history and do our best to tell their story. Thanks for being with us. Well, the team started about 12 years ago, and um, we decided to stay together and uh, form a team for the Outdoor League, um, and, and we did that. Uh, some of the other neighborhood kids joined in, and uh, eventually we merged with another team um, that was uh, made up of kids in the same neighborhood, and we formed what eventually, um, we took their name, they were the Rockets actually, so uh -huh. we took their name and the Dragon name thankfully went away. <laughs> and uh, and that was the origin of the Rockets. Um, and we stayed in the rec league. Um, the team was uh, very competitive. Uh, there were players playing on that team that stayed with the team and probably could have played at, at the higher levels. but. Um, the kids enjoyed it so much, and we were competitive, and we went to seek more competition over time. One of the things I saw that really helped, um, or that happened with the team through the years, is as the kids developed, I really began to see that in their heart there was a special place for the Rockets. And I think the Rockets provided something that they could hold on to, uh, that for a certain part of the year, uh, they could get together with their friends, play a game that they love to play, um, and just enjoy it. And um, and that, I think, for most of the boys, that was really something that uh, I, I could tell that it was something they looked forward to. Uh, there was one of the boys on the team, he, he would say, hey, coach, when are we going to do that Rockets thing again? Uh, and that was just a, a, a wonderful statement to the fact that he was looking forward to it, that it was something special to him. And I think each of the boys have a little bit of that. So Warren, you're, I mean, you can control the whole mission if you want. <laughs> that shot down there? No, but if you would have followed it up, you would have scored. Because he went like this. He went, and then the ball stop went it, and the ball went right here. So if you would have shot it and followed it, then you would have scored. Okay? That was a great one. Yeah, well, you guys are getting the ball in dangerous spots. It's just it was not taking it away. It's like the rockets hurt. And it's because guys were not aggressive enough in front of the goal. Instead of a shot like this, it's rear back. So, um, why were the Rockets so successful? And I think part of the reason is because the, there was a core group of players that came back every year. And they were used to me, my coaching, my coaching style, but they also really enjoyed spending time together as a group. And that dynamic which just grew over the years. Um, and there was a, just such a strong sense of team. Um, they always sacrificed for each other. That's the secret to, to a successful soccer team or just about any sport. But especially with this group, there was something about this group uh, they would never quit. And they always played for each other. <laughs> We're now going to speak with several of the Rockets players and get their perspective on coaching, on the experience, on working together for that long, and to get a grasp of what it felt like to be state champions. Well, playing on the Rockets was a really great experience for me. It was a group of kids who I was all friends with, who I knew everybody, um, and it got to the point where it wasn't just about playing on a soccer team together. I mean, we were all working hard and. Um, really working together and struggling together. I went through all of the ups and downs of being on a team and playing in a sport together. It was a really unique experience that I can't really um, find any similarities to anything else because we all knew each other, we all had to trust each other on the team. And so it kind of helped us build a friendship. And that kind of was my core group of friends, the Rockets, for a very long time um, until I left the team. That was my, my main group that I was staying with.
I first joined the Rockets 12 years ago, and overall, I've just had an amazing experience with them. We've been through both up and downs. Everything's just kind of been just fun with us. We've always been together. We've all been friends at school. We've all known each other basically all the 12 years that we've been together on the Rockets. I've got a lot of friendships on the team. One, I've been friends with Adam since early middle school. He's been one of my really close friends on the team. Joseph, too. I've known him for five, six years. We've Most of us have been friends since middle school. And I think that's one of the main reasons that we've been able to work so well on the Rockets. It's this close friendship we've discovered. We really just know each other and know what each other's going to do. I played for about four years before I joined the Rockets, and I've practiced on fields with the Rockets. We played practice games against them, and that was always the team with the cool kids that everybody always wanted to be on. And when I finally got to be on it, I was really excited because I went, I'd gone to school with all those guys. I had some of them in my classes, and we'd always talk about how our team was better than the other team or whatever. And when I finally got to be on that team, I felt like I was really part of something great because I had a lot of my best friends with me and it was we all integrated into one really good really functional team what made the rockets work well i'd say it was probably the fact that we were all together as little kids growing up on the same soccer team um we formed the soccer team really early like when we were all like six or seven and there was a core group of guys, probably like six or seven of us, that stayed with the team throughout our teen years. And I think that just grew the team bond and gave the team more of a chemistry to win. And it just helped because we all knew each other. We all knew each other's strengths and weaknesses. And it just helped out a lot. So I've been on the team for about... 10 years. I was one of the beginning players, started up the team, and it's really been a great experience, just the team staying together for that long. It's really cool because we work together really well. We've all been friends. It's not like just a group of people who come together to play on the team. We were friends beforehand, and then we came together to join the team. And I think that's really what helped keep us together, just um, that friendship. Because, I mean, you can have people you play soccer with, but you don't have to be friends with them. And so you don't really have a strong tie, and you might switch teams. But we all really enjoyed just getting together and practicing. It was kind of a social group, honestly, sometimes. But it's been pretty good. One of the biggest low points that we've had so far has been when we were in the state tournament and got knocked out because of a coin flip at the end of our game, which ended in a tie. And the ref said that, that the finals game? Uh, it wasn't in the finals; it was in the semifinals. So we were, we were to tie at the end of the game, and the ref told us that there wasn't enough time to go into any overtime periods or even uh, PK shootouts. He just came to the center of the field, called our captains up, and did a coin toss and said, okay, you guys are moving on. Rockets, sorry, you're out. There were some years that a lot of players decided that they wanted to play soccer, and since we were a rec team, we couldn't really say no to players who wanted to come on. We couldn't be like a select team and say, yes, we want you, no, we don't want you. As a rec team, we had to take basically anybody that wanted to play if we had room. And there were some years that there were some players that couldn't really match up to the standards that we were working at. As the Rockets, a core group of us that have always been together, we have a high work ethic on the team. Practices, we always make them hard for ourselves. We always just train exceptionally hard every day. Our sprints at the end, we're always doing extra and so when we got some players that just couldn't really give that 110% that the rest of us were giving, it kind of brought us down a little bit. 
because we couldn't really rely on them when the goings got tough? Um, I can only think of a couple of low points for the eight years that I was there, and one was obviously going to be some incompetent players. We had players that weren't really... I mean, you couldn't really blame them because they had never played before and their parents decided to sign them up. And, you know, you can't really do anything. You just get stuck with them. And you let them play and see what they can do. And a lot of times they had some great... They had some moments of magic. Other times you just wanted to bash your head into a wall. <laughs> Two left. You want to just play down the side. You don't want to give it to them. You don't want to give it to their goalie. Okay, if you go, if you could go down and score, great. But if, if you can't, then take it down the side and play possession soccer. Okay? We almost got tied there because we weren't playing smart. You gotta, you gotta play smart. Okay? Don't make the game too hard. But that was a good win. You guys played well. It was tough. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you guys. Good job. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> how about just rockets on three? Rockets on three! One, two, three! Rockets! <laughs> You know, Wayne was able to get his team to state. Wayne's got a good knowledge of soccer. I, I've actually had the privilege of playing with him many years ago. Uh, and I know he's a good soccer player, so he has a good knowledge of how the game is played and obviously how it's coached. Uh, he's got that personality to dissect, uh, to dissect a game and understand how to, to get the kids to go work probably the best they need to do and the best of their abilities. Uh, I've seen him out here on the practice field and I can just see by his the way he keeps his composure and the, his temperament with all the kids, uh, he, he expects good, good play, and if you expect that and you teach that, uh, you're going to get it. Uh, Coach Wayne, there's a, there's a lot that could be said about that guy. He's really, really passionate about the sport, and even though we were 10 years old, he'd still he would treat us like we were his own children, even though he barely knew us, and... I really, what I really appreciated about it is that he was really hard during practice, but he was always such a fun-loving guy, and he'd laugh with us, and he'd joke around with us, and it was just, it was a great experience. He was a, he's a really great guy, and I really look up to him, and I really want to thank him for all the time that he spent, because a couple years back, his son didn't even play for our team anymore, and he still agreed to coach us, because he'd known us for so long, and he didn't. He didn't want to leave us hanging, which we really, really appreciated as a team. And I just, I really, I really appreciate all the time that he's given us. Uh, Coach Wayne's coaching style is kind of different from a lot of other coaches that I know. His is more of a kind of easygoing coaching style, which is something that I really enjoy. He's really easy with us, but we know how to make it hard for ourselves. He'll give us kind of the easy way to do it and then he'll expect us to be the adult and make the hard decision on how hard we should be working, how hard we need to be training with the ball and he'll basically give us a choice that yes you can take the easy option but if I, if I were you I would go with the hard option so what I really think is how he coaches is just that easygoing style really helped us just train really well. It gives us the opportunity to train ourselves. I think I see um, Wayne as a, uh, a sportsman from way back. Uh, and I think probably some of his original traits that he learned as, as a sportsman himself carries forward through his, uh, his coaching duties. And that is uh, he has a, uh, uh, a great deal of understanding for what the boys are going through, but he also expects a lot out of them. Uh... Part two will look at the state of soccer and the state championship.